So before starting talking about taking input from user, I just want to discuss about strings in Python. Uh, as I've already told you that uh, we can define a string like this, but there are some things that I want to add uh, to the topic that I have already explained. Uh, this is the string that I have stored in the variable num1. And we have a num2. Let's say I have another string like this. All right. And what if I want to print both the strings right in my terminal? So let's say I want to add num1 and I want to add num1 with num2. All right. I have used this summation operator and it's going to add both the string. It's not going to add because the add operator is used for integers to add up the numbers. But in our case, we have strings. So it's going to join both the strings into one string and it's going to print out on the terminal. So let's see and save this file if it's going to concatenate or not. So you can see that both the strings are combined and concatenated with the plus sign. So now let's define another variable and I'm going to name this variable num3 and I'm going to add some value inside it. I will say what's up. All right. And you can see that I have added a single code within the value and I have enclosed this whole value within the double quotes. All right. What if I want, let's first print out the num3 and it's going to print out this value as it is. What if I want to show a double quotes within this value because I have used this double quote and ended this string with a double quote. If I try to add the double quote inside it, it will not understand it. It will see that you have started the double quotes, you have added a value and you have added another double quote. It mean that you have ended the string at this position and what you have written after this double quote. All right. So um, if I want to print this double quote in my terminal or in the output screen, I need to use escape characters and I can write backslash before this double quote. All right. And our interpreter will understand that this double quote is not the part of defining a string, but it's a part of value of a string. All right. So let's save this file and I'm going to print out this one. So you can see that it has printed out double quote in my terminal as a character in what double quote s. All right. And same as there are other ways to define a double quote. If I remove the backslash and I enclose the whole string within a single quote, it will work fine. All right. And if I run this up, you can see that it has printed what's up with the double quotes as a value. All right. So uh, if we start a string within uh, with a single quote, um, then we should add a double quote inside it. If we start a string with a double quote and if we want to print the double quote within the value as well, then we need to give it a backslash escape character. Let's say I want to add a single quote again inside it. So if I want to print single quote that is inside the single quote as a string, I need to add a escape character before it. Okay. So let's add, so you can see that uh, it has printed what's up with a single quote inside it. So this is how we can uh, use this thing to define a string, define the uh, single quotes and double quotes within the value of our string. There are other ways that we can use to print out string or uh, with different variables. All right. So let's add another variable num4. And I'm going to give it my name is and I'm going to give it a formatting operator and I'm going to write percentage sign and S. S stands for string. All right. And after the double quotes, I will write a percentage sign again. And within the brackets, I'm going to give it the value that should come in replace of this percentage s operator all right so i'm going to write my name okay so let's print out num4 within the brackets 
and let's save the file and run the file. You can see that it has printed out my name is Umair. Alright, so what's going on here? Actually, uh, it's starting with the my name is and it has seen that percentage s is written inside the string. So it will understand it like that it should get a value, it should go further uh, on the right side out of this double quote and see that what's value is coming at this place. All right. And the first value it will come and that will be replacing this percentage s. Let's say I want to add another value. Let's say that I write a comma and I will give it my phone number. Uh, not phone number, let's say my age. All right. So let's say 25. Okay. So the first value will come at this place. We haven't added any formatter symbol right here to add this value. And that has to be an integer value. The percentage S is for string and for integer for decimal, we use percentage D. So I will write my age is, let's add and my age is percentage D. All right. So this will bring up the second value because this is at the second position of it and it will take this string. All right. So let's save this file and I'm going to run it. So you can see that it has printed out my name is Umer and my name, my age is 25. All right. So this is how you can format string. You can uh, use uh, this uh, string as our formatter operators. There are other bunch of operators as well for other data types like we have uh, percentage F for a decimal point values 2.5, 3.5 and such values. We have uh, percentage O for octal integers. We have percentage C for characters, uh, single character. Okay, so now uh, we let's see that what we can do further with the string. Let's define, let's remove the spaces between these lines so that we have space to write below this one. So I'm going to define a variable and I'm going to give it a value of a string. So I'm going to give it hello world. All right. And in the print statement, uh, what if I want to fetch out individual characters from this string? I want to print out E out of it. I want to print out W out of it. Or I want to print out uh, the characters from E to R. All right. How can I do it? There are uh, the ways that it is providing. So let's say that I want to print and uh, I want to use num5 and within the square brackets. All right. I'm speaking again. This is the square bracket and I'm going to give the index number, the character number from this string and it starts with zero and it is defined by arrays, which I'm going to talk about in fifth or sixth video. All right. So H is at zero position. E is at first position and L is at second position and it goes all the way up to D. All right. So let's say I will write zero. This should be in brackets. All right. So let's save it and I'm going to run this file. So you can see that it has printed H because H was at the zeroth position. Let me write two here and at the two position we have L first L. So I'm going to run this file again so you can see that it has printed L. All right. Now if I want to start counting from the end, like this is the zeroth position, this is the second position, uh, this is the third, fourth, and rather than counting it from the start, like it is might be at the 10th or 11th position, I want to count from one and that should start from the end of string. So I can write minus one right here. Okay, and minus one means that it will start counting the characters from the end of this string. So I will write and 
run it so you can see that it has printed D in my terminal because it was starting up uh, from the end of this string all right so uh, what if I want to print out the characters from H to O all right let's count it it's at the zero position zero one two three four and five we want to stop uh, printing our characters at this space all right and this space is counted as a character in our string all right everything that is on our keyboard or any character on our mobile uh, keyboard uh, that is considered as a character okay so it is at the fifth position so I want to start from zero and I want to go up to the fifth fifth will not be included but I want to start from zero and go up to four that's what it's saying so I'm going to save this file and I'm going to run it so it's gonna print out hello in my terminal all right and if I want to start from E to O I can start from 1 up to 4 so I'm going to run this so you can see that it has printed out hello okay if I don't write anything before colon it's automatically gonna understand that uh, I want to start from the zeroth index and go up to the fifth index let's increase the value of fifth to 8 I think the eighth value is six seven eight so W and O will also be printed and it will start from zero as well so I'm going to write hello space wo okay so if I don't write anything around the columns in our string uh, let's see what it's gonna do it's gonna print out it should print out the whole string okay so you can see that it has printed out the whole string uh, from here okay so this is how you can uh, slice up different strings using this colon sign there are some functions uh, provided by python that we can use for finding out the uh, length of our string for splitting our string for making our string all the characters into uppercase lowercase characters and bunch of other functions so let's see a few of those functions so let's say i want to find the length of my string so I can use len and within its bracket I can give it the string whether it's a variable that is containing the string or directly this string that we can add within the brackets of our length function all right this is a predefined length function so I'm gonna save this file and run it so you can see that it has printed out 11 means that length of this string is 11 so uh, the next function that I'm going to show you is uh, what if I want to uh, change the characters from the lowercase to uppercase. These are already in the lowercase so I'm go not going to uh, convert it again back to lowercase. So I'm going to use dot and I will write upper. Okay and after that I will write the brackets like this. So I'm going to save this file and run it. You can see that it has converted the hello world the characters of hello world all in uppercase all right so uh, there are a bunch of functions around 50 to 60 functions that we can use to manipulate string we can count the characters we can check if any there is any numeric digit inside the string or not uh, we can also check if what is the uh, character in any particular index of the string and bunch of other characters you need to check out the uh, python documentation uh, for the string manipulation functions 